Bible verses about man wearing braids, is long hair sin? ESV Ezekiel 44:20. They shall not shave their heads or let their locks grow long, they shall surely trim the hair of their heads. 1 Corinthians 11:14. Does not nature itself teach you that if a man wears long hair it is a disgrace for him? 1 Peter 3 3-5 do not let your adorning be external, the braiding of hair and the putting on of gold jewelry, or the clothing you wear, but let your adorning be the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which in God's sight is very precious. For this is how the holy women who hoped in God used to adorn themselves, by submitting to their own husbands. Deuteronomy 14 1. You are the sons of the Lord your God. You shall not cut yourselves or make any baldness on your foreheads for the dead. Numbers 6 5. All the days of his vow of separation, no razor shall touch his head. Until the time is completed for which he separates himself to the Lord, he shall be holy. He shall let the locks of hair of his head grow long. Leviticus 21 5. They shall not make bald patches on their heads, nor shave off the edges of their beards, nor make any cuts on their body. 1 Timothy 2 9-10. Likewise also that women should adorn themselves in respectable apparel, with modesty and self-control, not with braided hair and gold or pearls or costly attire, but with what is proper for women who profess godliness, with good works. Isaiah 3 18-24. In that day the Lord will take away the finery of the anklets, the headbands, and the crescents, the pendants, the bracelets, and the scarves, the headdresses, the armlets, the sashes, the perfume boxes, and the amulets, the signet rings and nose rings, the festal robes, the mantles, the cloaks, and the handbags, the mirrors, the linen garments, the turbans, and the veils. Instead of perfume, there will be rottenness, and instead of a belt, a rope, and instead of well-set hair, baldness, and instead of a rich robe, a skirt of sackcloth, and branding instead of beauty. Romans 12 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. 1 Peter 1 14. As obedient children, do not be conformed to the passions of your former ignorance, 